Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Community Action Team is a group of officers selected to work proactive assignments. We don't respond to 911 calls. We target certain areas and work with neighborhood and community leaders to work together. With the police just doing it, we don't get the job done as effective. Uh, we get everybody involved. We can do the job a lot better. In the past, in certain neighborhoods, district officers would be answering from call to call and they wouldn't have any time to do any projects and now we're finding that they, um, they have a little bit more free time on their hand where they can work in different areas that makes it a little bit more interesting for themselves and also get to know the community a little bit better. He is Hang on, Mike. Billy You're under arrest. I know it. Good. Two sixty-two. Yeah, we we got a car check at Eighty Second Terrace in Brooklyn. Can you start us a wagon? Let's get these up and find what they got. Nice little run. Get up. Roll over. So high, really didn't do anything. Brooklyn, What's Terrace, running for, Brooklyn, partner? Mm -hmm. okay, there. Now it is. What you running for? Because my car is illegal. Because your car is illegal. What's inside the car? I don't know. What I'm gonna find in the car? Who is he? Who is he? No, and this is someone I met. Someone you met where? Huh? Someone you met where? Down, I was picking up a friend that wanted uh, Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah. Why don't you come over and stand over here? Hey, Cameron. Man, I really haven't done we'll talk to you in a second. Stand right over here. What's he saying? Uh, his car is illegal. Trying to get some what, ID out of here. What's he saying up here, this guy? I don't know. Who, who is this guy? I don't Watch know. You, for you don't know him? OK. Can we tell him I didn't do that? Hey, partner, why don't you have a seat? That'd be good. Have a seat right here. Yeah. Okay. Did he actually hit your fence? He did hit my. Okay. We'll check. We'll check it out here in a second. Once we figure everything out, we'll be with you. Spread your legs. Well, what are you on parole or probation for? Is there anything inside your car right now? Anything you want to let me know about? No. Two sixty-two. Can you start us a tow? What'd you spill all over yourself? It's gonna I kind of washed my jeans up. No. It's water. It's water? Yeah. He came out of the parking lot at a, at a pretty good rate of speed. We turned around to stop him, and as soon as we turned around on him, he took off from us at an even higher rate of speed, took a couple corners on us, and then he uh, came up over the grass and struck a fence here. We're finally his car stopped right here in the middle of the road. Well, what are you on parole or probation for? Selling drugs in Michigan. Selling drugs in Michigan. What kind of drugs are you selling in Michigan? 
Cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. I learned the lesson. You learned your lesson. Yes, I did. Well, I guess you did. How long have you been in Kansas City? January? Where do you live? Where, Missouri? Clay Como. Clay Como, Missouri. How old are you? 18. 18? Ever been arrested? No, sir. Never been arrested? No. How do you know him? I met him. He's taking my car for a test. I met him. I saw this car and I was asking him about it. How long have you known him? Huh? No, not I don't you. Know no, you don't talk. Good. I don't really know him that kid. Well, you're getting to know him a lot better today, aren't you? Huh? I was spending some time with him today, right? I had three, you know. What are you running for again? Tell me one more time. Because my car is unlegal. Unlegal car. Yes, it is. So you're going to risk everybody. Right? I'm sorry. I've, I've done stupid things. As we uh, turned around in the vehicle, we lost sight for a brief second when it popped over the hill. Again, we regained sight. We saw it uh, lose control here. It veered off. As you can see, you got skid marks here. Veered off, came up into the yard here, uh, lost control and hit the fence over here. Broke a pole on this gentleman's fence and uh, came back down over here. I think they got kind of stuck here. They got the road, got back in the road. And as at, at that point, we were able to, uh, we were right next to him, able to take both subjects into custody or they probably would have been gone again, but the Camaro uh, or the uh, Pontiac wasn't able to quite get around that terrain. So another innocent victim, the property owner, that gets to pay for some of it. 268. He was giving me a test drive in the car. Yeah, because I liked it. I was interested in buying it. Thinking of buying it? I don't think I'm doing that. <laughs> but uh, that's what I was doing. Next thing you know, we're trying to stop you. Yeah, What's I he saying? I was finding out how fast it was going. <laughs> you, you were getting the ultimate test drive, yeah. huh? All right. Not exactly the one I wanted. <laughs> okay. We're going to uh, we're going to let you go tonight, okay? All right. You were the uh, pretty much the innocent victim in the car. You can't get him to stop when he's driving like that, I'm sure. Right. So uh, we're going to write you a little seatbelt ticket and let you go on your way, okay? You might right. want to reconsider who you're trying getting in the car with, too, okay? It's a nice car. I know, I know it is a nice car. You just, uh, do you have uh, somebody you can call or something? Somebody around the corner? Okay. Here you are, Steven. Thanks for that. Have a good night. I've checked his boots and stuff. Not bad driving. Not bad. He knew he was going to be running from the second he came out of that parking lot. I guess the old Pontiac lost the battle to the Crown Vic tonight, huh? Guess we don't run from the police. <laughs> I spent a couple of years working downtown in the business world and uh, going downtown every day, being in the big city, and I quickly realized that isn't what I wanted to do at all. I began considering being a police officer. My dad's a retired police officer after 25 years. Um, if you, I, I've always been told if you find a job that you look forward to going to every day, that you have fun at, that it's gonna work for you. And that's what I'm doing now. A lot of what I do or we do here in Kansas City, um, it's not so much that they're different type calls, it's just the, the volume of the calls is a lot greater than the sheriff's department I worked at. Um, you still have your shootings, your stabbings, your uh, people in possession of drugs, traffic violations, that kind of thing. It's just up here the amount and volume of calls is so much greater that it just kind of overwhelms you at times. What we're en route to is a party wanted call. Um, a, a third party has called into the dispatcher and told them they know the whereabouts of a subject who has a Jackson County warrant. Uh, we're en route to this hotel where he's supposedly at now. The dispatcher also advised that he possibly has weapons inside with him. Hi. We got a call out here to room number 159 on a guy we're looking for. I um, was wondering if we could get the key from you in case he doesn't want to open up. Okay. Is there an entrance both off the hall and outside? Yeah, but it goes on the second floor, outside. Okay, so we're wanting down the bottom floor. The down, all the way to the end, almost. On the bottom floor. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's go 
Drive toy. Sir, 21st Sim Drive, 460 and Mary. Lights are on. You want to knock first? Step out. Oh, I'm step sorry. out here. I'm sorry. What, no, what did up, I do? Get on the ground. What did I get do, on man? Get on the ground. What did I do? Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, Put man? Put your hands Put your behind your back. back. Look, man. Damn. You got a cup? Yeah. I got Oh, he dodged out my ear. Hold still. What's the clear in here? Who else is here? Nobody. Got a gun in his back pocket. You got any more guns on you, man? No. It's clear. There's a gun right there. Yeah, he had it in his back pocket. Good for another CCW. Rolling papers, there's liable to be some drugs in the room somewhere. This is our man. You got some warrants, Richard. What kind of warrants? You got several of them. You got a couple county warrants. A couple Kansas City warrants. One of the county warrants for aggravated assault. That's I all guess I. Who? I don't know. That's all they told us was aggravated assault, man. They didn't give us any of the details. Away. All right. You got any more guns in the room, Richard? No, man. You be cool. Yeah. Let's go ahead and stand him up, sir. Okay. I haven't checked his front pockets or his waistband. Go ahead and stand up for me, Richard. Hey, hey. Very nice. Stand up, man. I gotta check your pockets. You got anything else on it? No, man. Okay. Do you have any dope or anything at all? No, I don't. Because we're gonna go through the whole room, man. I don't care, man. I don't care what you go through, man. I'm just up here waiting on my girl. Okay. Is she gonna be coming here? She just left. She was on her way back. Duplicate. Are you familiar with the magazine release on this, Crump? Excuse me? How you release a magazine on this, Richard? With that screw. What screw? The screw in the back. All right. Oh, right there on the back. Oh, okay. It's loaded. Got one in the chamber. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Step out here, Richard. Yeah. Hey, this room is not registered to me. It's in your name? It's under my father's name. Uh-huh. Hold on, he's gonna search you too. He opened the door and tried to shut it on us as soon as we opened it. The description matched, his identifiers matched. We knew that was him. Uh, and he resisted arrest a little bit, finally taken into custody, got the gun off of him. He's good for CCW. He had it in his pocket, totally concealed. And then go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't want to see your time relay earlier. Let's see right here. What the hell is this? Be some drugs in here somewhere. He's got razor blades, rolling papers, tire pump. You know where they always hide them here? It's in the ceiling tiles in the back. Yeah. Somebody, he in the wagon. We're gonna recover this for safekeeping because uh, being a felon, he doesn't have any right to this. We could call a. Uh, the guy from the ATF. A lot of times the ATF in Kansas City will handle the uh, a felon that is a registered felon in possession of a firearm and they'll either revoke his parole or probation, whatever he's on. Book him on his warrants, recover the gun and the bullets. That'll pretty much do it. C.M. Kelly was the chief from 1961 to 1973 and he was the one that brought in a lot of the innovative uh, concepts to the police department. He, didn't he start the helicopter unit out here? Helicopter unit, uh, the computers, 
getting the computers. Uh, we were one of the first in the nation to have computers. Um, he uh, did uh, help in the OCC uh, in getting, uh, before that there was no way for a citizen to get any differences resolved and uh, it did make a difference. Uh, he was an extremely well-liked police chief, uh, very personable, would come out and talk to anybody. Um, just one heck of a nice guy. Probably one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. Did a lot of good things for this department. But uh, a good showing at his uh, services on Friday would be appreciated. And, uh, again, uh, depending on the call for service uh, mandate on Friday, I think all of us will probably be attending. So have your uh, Class A uniform. <laughs> Our helicopter's out doing routine patrol and observed a uh, van out here. We've had a lot of problems. You're not going to be able to get through there. We've had a lot of problems out here in this area with people driving stolen autos up in here and abandoning them and burning them. So, uh, man, this looks like about as far as we're going to get. We're going to get out on foot and walk up and see if we can make contact. He's got some folks out here, too, wandering around, so we'll make sure that they're not dumping stolen vans out here. Um, you're going to slip off and get stuck in Sarge's car. Uh. Hi, what are you guys doing back up in here? Go ahead and put the bottle down, sir. What are you boys it off the side, what we're trying to do is switch it up down. over yeah. and back up on the road so it's down. Okay. Back to four wheel. Well, that's Let's go on back up to your van. I understand that. And we, we always take that in consideration. You need to leave that, yeah. Not gonna, why don't you toss it over there? No, I met fell three back days. off a cliff down in that creek bed. He tried okay. to climb a hill and he kind of like slid back in the mud and went over. Uh -huh. And it, it was just barely hanging there. Okay, did anybody get hurt? Yep. It's real pretty when you It'll take you down there. It's pretty incredible nobody got hurt or killed on this thing. It's incredible he was even able to get out of this vehicle and walk away. It had to be a heck of a ride. It's just barely hanging on them rocks. People use these paths to go four-wheeling on um, vehicles like this and, and dirt bikes and stuff like that. But what we get is we get a lot of amateurs back here that don't know what they're doing whenever it comes to four-wheeling, and we end up with situations like this. This is probably one of the worst ones I've seen back in here. We've had them overturned or stuck in the mud all the way up to the hubs, but nothing as incredible as this. This, this one definitely takes the cake. Yep. No, I don't think a, a tow truck could back get back in there. here yeah, to it. A lot of trees. Yep. I didn't even, even know this land existed until this morning, so. And you guys were going to get it out with this? We didn't think so, but he was thinking he was going to. I've been ready to walk out of this since about 9 o'clock this morning. Have you moved it at all? About three inches. Yeah. We just got started, and uh, this is the first break that we've had all day, and that's when the chopper showed up. And, uh, too much of progress. It's all your fault. My fault? You're the one who called me home. Putting an intrusion alarm, 1307 Northeast, 80th Street. I went out and really broke the law. Next time you ask me if I want to go help, the answer's no. So I'm going Go ahead and collect your equipment, gentlemen. I want to get out here to help, not create well, problems. I understand okay. that. But, yeah, uh, me too. Well, you want all the property and everything? Yeah. No, you're not going to jail. Well, I thought she I'm said I'm saying she you will go to jail if I see you drive. All of this stuff. Oh, no. See, she wants you to gather this stuff up and get out of here. Oh, I'm getting my team. Well, it looks like he was coming across this path and slid, somehow <laughs> slid, right in between this tree and that other tree and slid it backwards right down off this ledge. And that's where it came to rest, was right down there. And then his friends uh, came in, helped him build these ramps. And uh, they've got lines 
winches going through the trees trying to winch this thing back up uh, off this ramp, but it doesn't look like it's going to give. It's going to take a tow truck to winch it out, but there's no way to get a tow truck through these woods to get back to it. So I don't know how they're going to get it out of here. You guys know not to come back up in here, right? Okay, you don't have a problem with that, right? Okay. No, just have him come out and get his stuff yeah. and go. Don't have him out here working on getting that truck out of here, okay? That's not his problem. His problem is his tools. He can come out and get them and be gone, okay? Oh, man. You guys can't get it started? Whoa, that was a close one. Get one stuck, can't get the other one started. Kind of, sorta. Try it going all this way. Hang on. Um, you're gonna slip off. Oh yeah, I got it made. Well, I think that's it. I just dropped it. Yep, that's it. We're not out of here. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Things dead. Okay, 2514, can transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3.